Hello everybody, this is Salamina from Light Toy School English version. I am your resilient teacher. Today is 13.07.2021, which means today is 13 July. Okay, are you ready for your class? Hope so. Okay, let's start our class. Today's topic is question answer, two false. Kalimatahi and he all three topics you can find in your sheet. Okay, everybody, to continue with that, you have to take your sheet, your CW copy, and pencil eraser. Okay? Okay, let's get a start off class. Number one, topic number one, topic number one is question answer. You have to learn one to six questions and you have to write it and memorize it. Then write again, take a picture and send to your classroom. Okay. Question number one. What do we say before Odu? We say Bismillah before Odu. When we start any good word, we say Bismillah. As Odu is the good word and is a preparation for our prayers, so we say Bismillah. We say Bismillah before Udu. Okay. Number two. How do you clean your ears? How do you clean your ears? Answer. I whip my ears with my fingers inside and out. When we do Udu, the second step is clean our ears. Is that it? No, second step is clean our nose and mouth. And clean our ears is which step? Do you know? I think you will know. Step number seven is clean your ears. That's how I wet my ears with my fingers inside and outside. Both sides you have to wet. Okay. Number three, to whom do you seek help? I seek help from Allah. You seek help from Allah. Everybody seek help from Allah. Okay. Number four, to whom do you bow down? I bow down to Allah. You bow down to Allah. Everybody bow down to Allah, who belongs to Islam religion. Number five. What brings you near to Allah? Prayer brings me near to Allah. Prayer brings me near to Allah. What brings you near to Allah? Prayer, be, prayer brings me near to Allah. Number C. How many times do you pray daily? I pray five times daily. I pray five times daily. Fajr, Jahar, Asr, Maghrib, Isha. I pray five times daily okay so come to again come again number one what do you say before wudu we say bismillah before odu we say bismillah before odu what the spelling of bismillah b i s b m i n e b i s m i l l l a h l a bismillah if we say b i s b m i L me, this me, L A H la, this me la, B I S B M I L me, L A H la, this me la. How do you clean your ears? I whip, W I P whip, W I P whip. I whip my ears with my fingers, F I T G E R S fingers inside and out. To whom do you seek help? I seek help from Allah. We know the spelling of Allah. Number four, to whom do you bow down? I bow down to Allah. I bow down to Allah. Okay. What brings you nearer to Allah? Prayers bring me nearer to Allah. Prayer brings me nearer to Allah. Number six, how many times do you pray daily? I pray five times daily. I pray five times daily. 
Okay. Have you got it? Okay. Now everybody take your sit up the coffee and start writing. Okay. Next topic is true false. If the line is true, you have to write true. If the line is false, wrong. At that time, you have to write false. F A L F E false. Okay. So come to the number one. There are nine steps in Odi. There are nine steps in Odi. Isn't it? In previous class, we learned about that. Yes, it is true. Number two, further means noon prayer. Further means noon prayer. We pray our further prayer at noon? No. At very early morning. We pray our further prayer very early morning. So that this is false. Odu. Odu means ablation for prayer. Yes, ablation means preparation. Odu means ablation for prayer. So it's true. Number four, prayers keep me away from doing bad things. Prayers keep me away from doing bad things. Yes, prayers keep me away from doing bad things because in our prayer, we, we believe that Allah is in front of me and Allah see all things, Allah listen all the things we right, tell, we do, all the things Allah monitoring and prayers. So in prayers, you can see Allah, but uh, you have to image that. In here, Allah is come to near you and listening your prayers, seeing your prayers, okay? And this imagination keep you from doing bad things, is it? Okay, it's true. Number five, Astakrula means if Allah will. Astakrula means if Allah will, is it? I don't think so. Astakrula means I keep Help from Allah. In previous class, we learn about two. I seek Allah's forgiveness. So what is it? I seek Allah's forgiveness. This means astaghfirullah. But here you can see it say that astaghfirullah means if Allah will. No, it's not correct. If Allah will it means inshallah. So it's false. This is false. Number six, Allah says. Go down and come nearer with me. Is it true? Yes, yes, this is true. When we when we go down, Allah comes nearer to us in our prayers. Okay. Number seven. We do Odu. We wash my hour. It's gonna be our our left hand first. When we do Odu. We wash our left hand first? No, we wash our right hand first. So it is false. Number eight, I seek everybody's guidance. No, I seek only Allah's guidance. Isn't it? Yeah. So it is false. Number nine, the third step of Odu is wash the face completely. Yes, in previous class, we said, we, said, we learned that. That's Third step of Odu is wash the first completely. This is true. Number 10. We make personal prayers after completing our salah. We make personal prayers after completing our salah. So, is it true? Yes, this is true. Because after finishing our salah, we always want something personal from Allah. And this is I don't think it is only know my Allah and me. Nobody can nobody know about that. These are personal meeting. Allah and me. Okay. Allah and mine. This is personal meeting. We make personal fears after completing our salah. This is 
Okay, number three, Kalima Tauki. Uh, you will find it from your sheet. Okay. For start, uh, after, uh, before starting that, we say, Arunz Billahi Mishadwan Raghi, Bismillah Rahman Rahi, Rabbi Jidmi Ilma, Rabbi Jidmi Ilma, Rabbi Jidmi Ilma. Okay, now, Kalima Tauki. La ilaha illa anta. Wahidallah Taniya Lata Muhammadur Rasulullah Imamul Muttaqina Rasul Rabbil Alameen Again La ilaha illa anta Wahidallah Taniya Lata Muhammadur Rasulullah Imamul Muttaqina Takina Rasul Rabbil Alami. Again, La ilaha illa anta wahidalla taniya laka Muhammadun Rasulullah Imamul Muttaqina Rasul Rabbil Alami. Okay, everybody learn at your home and in next class, at next class, Liz will ask you. Okay, so there is our religion Islam complete. Okay, so no more today. Uh, till next class. Till then, I love it. Now come to the Hindu religion class. In Hindu religion class, we're gonna teach today question answers. Yeah, you can see five questions and five answers. Are you ready for that? Okay, let's start. What is respect? Respect is honor, admiration, reverence, and belief. And other meaning of respect is trust. Other meaning of respect is trust. So what is respect? Respect is honor, admiration, reverence, and belief. The other meaning of respect is trust. Okay, now come to number two. What cannot be gained without respect? Without respect, we cannot gain knowledge. Knowledge cannot be gained without respect. Okay, if, uh, if you can't respect someone, how you can gain knowledge from his or her? So it's not possible, it's impossible. If you wanted to earn a learn knowledge from someone, you have to respect first. You have to respect the topic, you have to respect the human needs, you have to respect the situation, okay? Number three, why does God create all things? God creates all things to express glory, greatness, joy, and faithfulness. God creates all things to express glory, greatness, joy, and faithfulness. Okay, why does God create all things? God creates all things to express glory, greatness, joy, and faithfulness. Number four, how can we love God? We can show our love to God by loving to the creation of God. Okay, when if we give you a piece of cake, then if you eat it and eat it and say it to me, thank you. So I will be very happy. And because this cake is made by me and you take it with love. And you take it smiling face and you give thanks to me. As I said, if we show if we wanted to show our love to God, we have to love God's creature. Okay. We can show our love to God by loving to the creation of God. Number five, write down three main religious occasions of the Hindus. Three main religious occasions of the Hindus are Durga Puja. This is our big occasion, isn't it? Yes. Durga Puja, Saraswati Puja. Saraswati Puja means 
Sharshati is knowledge. Sharshati has knowledge power. Isn't it? Yes. Sharshati Puja Dulgatya. The main religious vocation of Hindus are Dulga Puja, Sharashati Puja, and Dulgatya. Which occasion do you like most? I think Dulga Puja. Because it's a big occasion for you. And do you know how many hands do they have? Do they have 10 hands? Which vehicle shall search by which vehicle shall it comes to you? One, white swan is the vehicle of Sharshati. Thank you everybody for joining my class. Hope you are well. Till next class. See you in next class. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Goodbye. See you next class. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you so much for attending my class.